What's up, Arky family? Welcome back to my channel. So today, if you guys have a Dollar Tree haul, I wanted to bring Pepper in for a few seconds. Pepper is turning more and more like Penny every single day. She likes to bark a lot. Love you, little baby boo. And she's, you see, she wants something to do with the camera like Penny. She's like kicking off of me. It's like, I do not care to be here right now. As always, before we begin the haul, I'd like to share with you guys my graphic t-shirt. This one I got during Christmas time. It was on sale for $11. It's from T Public. So I got this Arthur one. I've been wanting an Arthur graphic t-shirt forever. Okay, let's begin the Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to start off my house with my favorite item I found this week at Dollar Tree. I found like a lot of items that I like a lot. A lot. I have them all to the side. I was able to find a little red truck, like a straight up red truck, not just like the little picture of the red truck. It is a red truck with a little camper. So these are little um, fairy garden figurines. So they go along with all the fairy garden stuff that they have, but you can buy these and put them in tier trays. That is why I got them. Now, the paint job on this is wonky. It actually kind of looks like it's painted by hand um, and they just took some silver paint and they're like trying to do it quickly because that's what it looks like. It just looks like somebody just took a paintbrush and went do 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 all over it. So I'm definitely gonna probably fix this, you know, if I have time. I don't know about that for sure. Next up, I found some new wood chargers. I actually own a bunch of the ones they previously had, and they look like this. They're like a gray-ish type of wood, and I use them on the table quite often, especially when I decorate during fall. I was using this, but they got new ones that are like on the gold side, so there's like a metallic gold sheen to it, um, and it's the same design that's on this one, but you can see the difference. This one is gold, and then this one is more gray. Sorry, Pepper is in a bag over there. I need to go check what she's doing. Oh, look, oh my gosh, did you see her? I bought some lemons from Dollar Tree. I already held these things. Let me show you guys. Come on, show them what you were doing. I bought these lemons from Dollar Tree and um, Pepper got them out of the bag and dragged them out over here. Okay, let's just move on to some stuff I found for Pepper. So hopefully she'll get distracted by this, which she totally is right now, let me see. So Dollar Tree recently got a bunch of like dog toys in and they look like little candies and stuff. So I was able to find these little ones um, that are actually for cats. Now there's catnip in them. I Googled if catnip is bad for dogs. Apparently it just, it's not bad for them, but it just doesn't have the same effect as it has on cats. So I got these for Pepper because Pepper is honestly like a cat dog. She likes rattling things and frilly things. So I ended up getting her these. There's a double bubble one and then a Charms Blow Pop Cherry one. It was two in the pack. Go get it, go get it. <laughs> She's so cute, she likes slides across the floor all the time. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see her. Then I was able to find this big old Junior Mint one. This one is made for dogs. That one, like I said, is for cats. There's a squeaky inside of this one. I hauled a bunch of these recently, but it was like Blow Pop one, um, a Sugar Daddy one, and Milk Duds one. Um, I forgot what else, a Tootsie Roll one. I showed you guys a Razzle one. And this is the first time I saw the Junior Mint. Do you want it? Go get it. Next up, I was able to find stackable three-tier planters. Never seen these before at Dollar Tree. So basically, it can be stacked like this. This is exactly how you could stack them. I don't know how many you can put on top of the other. I'm sure you can keep stacking them. It's more of a matter of like um, having enough weight that if it gets windy, it doesn't fall over on you. Inside, like enough weight inside of here because if you don't have much weight, it'll definitely fall over on you because it's a... Uh, very lightweight, you know, it's a light plastic. I thought that was cool. I bought these for DIYs. I am not one for gardening, I'll tell you guys that. Matt, when we bought the house, he's like, are you gonna be gardening? I'm like, I don't really want to. I don't know, I'm just not big into it. But we'll see, things change, right? Another plant-like thing I got were these plant hangers. These kind of remind me of things you buy at like fancier stores. Um, they have them in different colors, but the only one that I could see that wasn't messed up was this like gold color because there was like a black one but somebody was like unraveling it. So I got a planter right here from Dollar Tree. You might, I don't know, want to put a smaller one in there. I think it's up to you. But you see it hangs like this. Super, super cool. And like I said, it reminds me of something you get at like a different store. I don't know. I always see like things like this on Urban Outfitters or Anthropology. Um, so yeah, they have those in right now. Like I said, there was a black one. I don't know if they have a different color other than this gold and black. But the black ones I saw, somebody had messed with them. 
Next items I found, oh my gosh, they're huge for what Dollar Tree normally carries. I found these little like images that have a piece of twin at the top, so that's how you hang them. I got this one that says Hope. It's a wreath with some metallic gold in it. This one I like a lot, so much so I bought two of them. And this one, like, I feel like it could go at the front door, and then I could use another one and add some things around it and put it somewhere on the walls. And then I got this one that says Beach Breezes. Now this one I got to use possibly in a DIY, but then it's gonna go straight to my mom. My mom, all of her bathrooms in almost my entire life have been a beach theme, and she just actually redid her bathroom downstairs, like redecorated it, and it's a beach theme, but it's like pink beach decor, which is really cute. So I ended up getting this one for her, but I wanna try DIY and get to have something in mind for it. We'll see though, like, I really don't know. Speaking of not knowing, um, this upcoming Monday, I'm aiming for Monday or Thursday, but I'm really aiming for Monday. I'm gonna upload a video and it's gonna tell you guys exactly why I haven't been uploading the past uh, couple of months too often. Even though I feel like this month, or it's just February just started, but like the last couple of weeks of um, January, I was able to get some videos out versus like the end of December where I would MIA. Next up. I got these little succulents. So this is really cool. They are framed succulents because Dollar Tree carries succulents that are in a little like planter. They carry loose succulents. These are in a little like shadow box. So I got this square one. It's white. I think there was a black one or a brown one. Don't quote me on it. And then this little rectangular one. And this one I know I saw in black. And each succulent is different, so I got these two. You can make a little house out of it if you wanted to. Next up, Dollar Tree got some new galvanized tabletop decor in. They always have ones like this where it's like the twine in the back or burlap in the back. And then like a galvanized image on the front, usually with some type of wording. So these ones have new wording on them. I got this one that says, always stay humble and kind. And this actually reminds me of a Tim McGraw song. When I used to work in retail, they would always play this song that's like, always stay humble and kind. Yep. That's what that reminds me of. And then I got this one that says Bless. Now, uh, this one is a repeat buy for me, and I think I've hauled it already, but I bought more of them because I cleaned up after Christmas, and I don't really have much to stick inside of, like, my credenza over here and then this other, like, stand over there. So I ended up getting some of these. Let's place inside of there. I have some more galvanized items to share with you guys. Dollar Tree got some galvanized crosses in, and I really, really like them. On the front of them, there is like a wooden cross. So this one is just a plain wooden cross that goes over the galvanized metal. And then this one says, seek courage and strength through him. I really like them, and I thought that they would be good for Easter time. Especially if you like neutral Easter decor, I feel like it'd be great. What's wrong? You gotta go outside? What about outside? I have to watch her when we take her outside because there's coyotes in the area. I'll be back, even though you guys won't be able to tell that I was even gone. I got some Easter items in. Y'all might be like, it's too early for Easter. They don't have all their Easter stuff out. I'm ready for it. I went to Hobby Lobby and they were placing all their Easter stuff out. And I'm like, I cannot wait for it to go on sale because I'm going to buy some of that stuff. So anyhow, I got Easter stuff, like I said. So let me start off with the little galvanized words that I got. Oh, this is the first time I've seen Easter galvanized letter or words. It says, Happy Easter and Blessings. They're three for a dollar, which is a great price. I also got another pack of Valentine's Day ones. Um, these say, Love, XO, XO, and Valentine. Like I said, good pricing for those things. Then I got these little um, clothespins felt bunny clips and there's a little bunny on them that kind of reminds me of a peep then i got these easter picks right here they're bunnies they're little burlap bunnies one it has a blue bow and one has a red or pink bow sorry with a little daisy so these are like boy bunnies and these are girl bunnies and then i bought a pack of the twine carrots i actually took one out because i was messing around with it the other day and there's four in a pack that's it for the easter items they don't really have like the Easter decor out. It's more like the crafting items for like children. That's what I mainly saw. So that's it for what I got. Those are more so though crafting items. I got some fake eyelashes. I bought from this brand before and I actually really like the lashes. These are from the brand I Ioni. Ioni. I don't really know how you pronounce it. At first I thought it said Tony on there. So anyways, the first time I bought from them, it was during fall, and I noticed that the packaging was like fall colors. So like auburns, deep reds, orange, browns. And this time around, it's more like pastel colors, um, or just spring colors. 
So maybe it's like the spring collection. So I got these Wispy Dramatic Spiky Lashes. Um, the Wispy Natural Long. And my favorite out of the ones that I bought is the Natural Cat Eye. I like ones that have like hair that is like layered. This is fake mink lashes. So that means it's not real hair. I just noticed that I had this piece of hair that was sticking out this entire time. Anyhow, that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I always like to end my hauls with a question I haven't done in almost two months. I'm gonna do it this time around. I wanna know what is your favorite reality show? So mine says Dancing with the Stars, but the reason I'm asking this is The Bachelor. I don't really watch The Bachelor because it pisses me off, um, but I did watch Nick Vial season, then Rachel, and then Bachelor in Paradise after that, and then I saw some of Bachelor in Paradise the last Time it was so last year just because Dean was on there and I remember Dean from Rachel's season um, but I was watching an episode yesterday and this is the thing with me sometimes I do run into The Bachelor and I will watch something because it's pissing me off so much that I can't keep my eyes away from it and that's what happened yesterday like I was getting upset because there was like this girl and another girl started spreading like rumors about her and I know they were saying that the girl's emotionally unstable that she cries a lot and the girl's like crying over like some guy honestly that you barely know so I didn't understand that part but then this girl started spreading rumors about her and so she went to the bachelor dude and she was like these rumors aren't true and it was about like being an alcoholic and pill popping and then the rose ceremony got canceled and the girls were mad at her because she went to pete and that she's the reason why it got canceled but it's like if somebody was spreading rumors about you about pill popping and drinking alcohol and being well drink, not drinking alcohol but being an alcoholic like you would go defend yourself so i didn't understand that part and it was pissing me off but then i found myself watching the entire episode so let me know your favorite reality show down in the comments below and again Monday I hope to have the video out on why I haven't been feeling so good and why I haven't been uploading so come back Monday if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.